Welcome to Big Blend Radio's second Saturday Sunshine Stay show with the Palm Springs Preferred Small Hotels. We have Gregory Douglas back on the show, and Gregory is an amazing musician, and he knows a little bit about real estate, and he is also, he knows everything about Palm Springs. You can go to his website, thepalmspringsguys.com, and if you're interested in his music, go to gregorydouglas.com, and Douglas is two S's, so maybe he's a little Scottish. I don't know, but welcome back, (laughs) Gregory. How are you? Yeah, I'm what's good. up with these Thanks. two S's? Like, yeah, you got the double S. What's that? I know. I don't know. I just fell into it, you know? <laughs> you fell into a double S. Is that Scottish? <laughs> Do you have, like, Scottish roots? Do you think? I, you know, you'd think I'd know more. I, I know more about Palm Springs than I know about my own lineage because it's just my family is so, you know, we all grew up so, like, fiercely independent and nobody knows anything, you know? It's like, I gotta, I gotta, like, really put some time into Ooh. figuring that out but but there's a huge contingency in the east coast where i'm originally from i'm actually from vermont and mm. i remember the first time i went to maine there were all sorts of douglases everywhere with two s's so um oh, so something well, i still yeah. need to figure out <laughs> yeah we got frederick douglas too like yeah that's right yeah. that's right <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, yeah, yeah. You never know what's going to go on with your history. I think that would be fascinating to dig into your family history. Seriously. Yeah. And, and music. So music is still going on for you. I mean, you are like an amazing music singer, songwriter, everything. Um, things you. are still going right in Palm Springs for you with music. Yeah, it's uh, such a crazy time in in history, really, to be a musician these days. I mean, I started in 99, and back then I was selling, I, I didn't care what I got paid at gigs, you know, I would just tour around because I knew I'd sell enough in CD sales to, oh. to make it worthwhile. So that just shows you how much has changed. So I just, I spent 20 plus years touring around, um, and now I'm I'm not touring so much. Just, you know, the choice to move to Palm Springs is really a quality of life choice. And and it also allows me to just be a little bit more selective about what I want to do. I'm on a very quality over quality versus quantity mm-hmm. path, you know. So it's been really fun to just be selective about the things I want to do and, and make the most of it and really create more of, of an experience out of it versus just, you know, five quick concerts in a row kind of thing. I love that. And I think there's something about the desert. And I know we talked about this on shows previously, but there's something about the desert, which allows you this. I think the open space allows you to have open space in your mind, Um, walking out in the sunrise or sunset. And I'm excited. Nancy and I are traveling back West um, as this airs like a few weeks later, we'll be on our way. And I can't wait. I, Miss my four or five o'clock in the morning sunrises. I love the East. I love all of it. You know, I love this country. It's beautiful. But there's yeah. something about the Southwest that I can't shake. You know? Yeah. I totally agree. It's, it's almost otherworldly. And there's, there's such an energy here that, that I really connect with because I'm a, I'm a songwriter. And I think that a lot of, I think those creative outlets are no different than dreams and, and the psychic, you know, the psychics of the world and, and everyone just sort of tapping into this like mysterious force of energy that, that is really, um, alive and well here. And I, I actually talked to, <laughs> this is so random, but I talked to a rabbi recently and he was like, there, it's no coincidence that, that most of the, of the greatest breakthroughs have happened in the desert, you know, over history. So mm. I thought that was a really well, interesting yeah. thing to think about. Well, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to believe in, you know, I'm just yeah. saying like, you know, Jesus didn't, he wore sandals for a reason. I mean it like I'm not. I'm, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not being weird or yeah. rating. Yeah. But like, you know, you got to think about it. And um, 
I want, you know, the, if the desert is all encompassing and wide, yet limiting because of the, the weather, right? And I don't know. I think there's something about the wide open skies that kind of gives you this hope. And as a musician, yeah. um, I know that and, you know, I'm a musician and writer and everything and not everything. <laughs> but there's something about being in a place. It's intimidating as a writer because it's like, oh, wide open. You could do this because you have this feeling of hope. And then it's like, holy crap. And then the heat comes in and you're like, oh, we need the little singe to make our writing work. Does that make sense as hmm. a musician and songwriter? Like you need yeah. a little kind of singe, but then you've got this big wide open space of hope that says, come on, you can do it, you know, and you have a community that supports you. That I think is huge, huge. huge yes. Huge. Yeah, for sure. That's. That's definitely very apparent here in Palm Springs. And, you know, I, there's, there's really no place like it. It's, it's such a unique bubble, but, you know, I sort of think of it as like, no matter where you are, you're in a bubble of some kind. And this mm. is the bubble for me because it's just, Ooh. it, you know, it, th there's such a crossroads of so many types of, or so many reasons why people come to Palm Springs. And and none of them are necessarily related to the other, but at the core of it all, I really believe, or what I've observed, is that people come here to really just live their best lives. And, and so everyone is happy. Everyone is, for the most part, you know, everyone wants to connect. Everyone wants to be a part of something. And and so everyone's on board and supporting the community. So it's no surprise to me that there is such a, a vibrant LGBTQ plus community here. And, and it, and it is, you know, so warmly welcomed to the point of, of local government, you know, really, mm -hmm. really supporting, uh, every aspect of this community. So it's, that's what makes it so special, I think. And the community supporting the gay community right the straight community oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. everyone that's important. everyone yeah yeah that's important because uh, and then the travelers coming in and here's all of these boutique hotels and some are gay men only which we talked about on the show before when you were on and um i think october is like uh come out month i'm not sure i thought it was like um, coming out and, you know, but it, it's important for people to live their lives, no matter who they are, where their walks are, unless they're doing harm, right? I, I'm like, if you're like gonna start shooting people, like, no. Um, but I mean, <laughs> in life, be who you are because that's who you are and enjoy it because life is short and you know, when you have communities like Palm Springs that welcome you, that maybe go there. If you're not feeling welcome somewhere, just go to a place like Palm Springs that welcomes you. Especially well, as a, a good traveler. Point. Yeah. Don't, don't, if you're coming out, don't, don't, don't fight the evil people. Go to the nice people. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. And I think that, you know, I've, I've had a lot of support throughout my life I've been lucky to for that and I think music has been a real outlet for that but you know I didn't get here and I've only been here for a little over two years um and I and it's interesting because I'm 42 years old now and I didn't realize how how much I still needed to heal you know from oh, wow. from all the from all the trauma and all the shame and all the the bullying and all the, you know, uh, ha trying to to not trying to appear more straight than I than I am in certain places because I would also tour around everywhere. You know, you need to like know where you are and and play it safe. Um, but wow, yeah. you know, the fact that as gay people we have to do that everywhere is. Um, and and to live in a place like Palm Springs where 
you don't have to do that. And, and it's much easier said than done. You know, we can say just be yourself, but that's really hard to do when you are the minority. But when you are a part of, you know, the majority really, I mean, the LGBT population here is at least 30%, if not more, um, you know, probably more at this point, actually. But, um, you know, it's so integrated. There are so many LGBT owned and operated businesses and organizations and, and even members of our local government. It, you know, so it's, it really is such an integrated thing. I, I do not think twice about it now. And, and mm-hmm. that's such a game changer. I think it's huge. Um, yeah. You know, as we travel the country, Nancy and I, we see places that I'm going, are you kidding me? I know like a gay person living here and you have billboards that go against it or against women. And, right. um, you know, we see a lot and the realities we also experience a lot because we immerse ourselves in the communities because we pets it as we travel. You know, we stay in hotels and bed and breakfast and boutique hotels, everybody. Like, don't, not the chains, sometimes, but it's really um, important to immerse yourself in the community before you believe a billboard on a community. I want everyone to understand that because um, there is somebody with buku bucks going, I'm going to put this billboard up. Like maybe the rest of the community doesn't agree with it, but they had the money to fund that and did that. Um, right. So I want people to remember that. Don't think of headlines. Don't. It's all bull, <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, but we do have issues, real issues in the country. But I feel like it's important for people to have places where, hey, I need a breather, man. You know, I need a break. I need to feel a community that supports me. And I also think that, especially with our youth, and I, I always yeah. feel that. I feel our youth are still in places that they could be coming out of the Midwest or anywhere. Like, I don't want to, you know, poke holes at the Midwest at all. But, um, but it could be anywhere. That is not... um happy or like accepting of something they don't believe in and that is even again the little group of people that are saying that in the town community hall right doesn't mean your whole community doesn't feel that way so um it's so hard but you have to do what you have to do for yourself and yeah i sort of think of it as being like driving a car, you know what I mean? If you can't just drive your car, if you, if you want to fight the big issues, if you want to stand up for yourself, if you want to really have the energy to, to, you know, move forward and, and be on the right side of history, if you will, um, you can't just drive your car across the country on empty. You have to refuel, you know, you have mm-hmm. to like, take care of yourself, body, mind, and soul, you know, I, the whole, the whole spectrum. And so I sort of see making the choice of being a part of a community, or at least a lot of, there's so many people that come here to travel. Obviously that's what we're talking about with boutique hotels as well. And, hmm. and they just come here regularly, you know, once, twice, four times, five times you a know, year. It could be the refuel. only time. It could be the only place they have that they're accepted is my point. Right. You know? Right. Or um, at least, you know, at, at least a place where they can really not have to think twice about it. Oh, oh yeah. Like at the gay men's uh, resorts. Like that, I talked about that with Kim later. Uh, Kimberly Munkers has been on the show, you know, forever on this. And, she was talking about the, the lesbian side is like, she said, well, Lisa, we, you know, later got to adopt kids and we had to go more in the family zone. <laughs> you know, we had to right. make zones <laughs> and, you know, gay men went this way, lesbians went this way, but we all support each other. But it was like a different 
Because I was like, well, why don't we have lesbian hotels? You have gay hotel, gay men's hotels. Why don't we have lesbians? She said, because we had kids. But gay men are having <laughs> kids, too. So, I mean, that's also kind of a new thing, too. Um, so that's also a thing of being able to be in a place, a city. Or I, I don't want to say a city. Palm Springs is so not a city. Um, go to Palm Springs, but you there's family-friendly places that would understand when two men have a kid or two women have a kid, you know? Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you obviously enjoy living there. I know your husband is in real estate now, so we got to give him a shout out. So go to the Palm <laughs> yeah. Springs guys.com, right? And, and yeah. Is that the right website? Like you guys, it and you're is. covering well, Palm Springs. You're, you're like a journalist now of there. So yeah, we it's actually a good place. started Palm Springs guys because we we thought it would be a really fun way to because before we consider even considered moving here we had been here a few times because we lived in L A for five years and we we escaped the city to come to Palm Springs and, and relax like so many do and and as I was researching online more resources for actually moving here I was surprised at how um, few of them really represented Palm Springs in in a in in the you know more aesthetically pleasing aspects that makes this town really unique um, the mid century modernism you know the just the the natural beauty there there were a few resources particularly for gay men um, but you know for the LGBT scene there's some great directories and everything don't get me wrong. But there wasn't really like a, a a one stop shop for the you know or a resource hub for the specifically for the gay male experience, especially if you're curious about it and you've never been here before, or you don't live here yet but you frequent Palm Springs and you just you know you you want to know where to go, what's the nightlife like, where are the clothing Is optional it resorts. It's cool though. <laughs> I think I think it's you know I love that though because country is so restrictive we're so you know don't do this don't do that and be free you know um just be who you are i think that you're right it and it really is more um it's really there's a lot of curiosity for people that haven't experienced palm springs and and aspects of that like the clothing optional resorts or or whatever but you know once you actually do get to experience it, it, you realize just how much more freeing it is than you even thought it would be. And so that's really the appeal of it, I think. And, you know, it's been fun to like, you know, it was kind of like a passion project for me to start the Palm Springs guys, because I just wanted to learn the area just mm. because I knew I was about to become a local. And then I saw that that started to help people out and, you know, um, just in terms of like it, it becoming one of the things that, that actually was helping for, for that, um, experience for other people that don't necessarily live here yet. But a lot of, a lot of, especially a lot of gay men, I'll, I'll just speak for my people here. <laughs> a lot mm -hmm. of gay men are, and gay couples, you know, they'll come from bigger cities and, uh, really all over but like i'm just using a big city as an example and they'll come here and they'll they'll really enjoy it after a few times and then they'll they'll want to move here either full time mm -hmm. or buy a second home or whatever so you know from a real estate standpoint it just felt like a natural progression like you know we all kind of have similar experiences we come here we learn about it we have such a great freeing time we realize how what a game changer that is in life, and then we decide inevitably we want to move here mm. and just have have more of that on a regular basis. So, are you are you seeing specific regions coming in, like for people from specific regions, or is it like, hey, I just found this and um, I'm going to move here? And like you're saying, it's really cool that you're doing this blog on the PalmSpringsGuys dot com. And and it's so cool to have the hotels and everyone authentic Palm Springs dot com. We'll have all these links in the show notes. Um and I yeah. promise not to swear again. Um 
I think I bleep myself out. But anyway, um, <laughs> it just, well, no, it just is like, come on, like everybody get along and have a good place. But it, apparently we need it. We need areas that are comfy and comfy for everyone. And, you know, stri- I know I, as a straight woman, I can walk in Palm Springs and no one's going to give me hell. Don't, I can't walk in heels, you know, so that don't, don't go off on me on that. Um, I can be <laughs> like a dirty hippie, right? And still walk in Palm Springs. Is that okay? Or am I going to be ridiculed? I want to know. <laughs> like, do I need to have clothes to come? Like, do I need to be changed up? Uh oh. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Oh, oh, I'm I'm going to be in oh. trouble, right? I am. No, I mean that you just you can you can be exactly who you are here. I think that's that's really where we're at with that. I I can't walk in high heels, but I want to go to everything drag because I. Well, I, there's plenty I of that see... here. That's for sure. I want to go to the drag brunches. Like, seriously, drag is so hard. Do you know how much work goes into drag? Are you kidding me? And people are like, oh, go against drag. I'm like, dude, you know, we think as women, we have to put on a little bit of makeup to go outside and do stuff. But, like, drag is a whole other work of art. And I mean it. I think it's a work of art, isn't it? Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's very underestimated. It's, it, it takes, like you said, it takes all sorts of Hours. steps, you know, it takes <laughs> just, just getting ready alone. But then these people, these, you know, men are, are entertaining. They're dancing. They're, you know, Singing. they're, they're right. Or... There's choreography. There's artistic direction. There's, oh God. you know, the, the, the level of creativity and, you know, these these queens are athletes. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, and, yeah, and they're you're committed. right. They're queens. Yeah, you're right. They are. I mean, it's and you have to go out there and sell it like a comedian would, right? Like, and if you bomb as a comedian or a drag queen, like that sucks, and you have to keep going. Like, it's hardcore. It's hardcore. It's it like is. well, and while we're talking about this, I think. It's important to say that, well, first of all, Palm Springs has recently, I don't know if you knew this, but Palm Springs has recently um, claimed itself uh, a, a safe haven for a, a sanctuary city for for all things drag and all drag really? performers in response to the recent, you know, anti-drag laws that were being I, do I have to beat um, myself out again just now? I'm going to have to beat myself again. <laughs> no, but, but really, what? I didn't. I didn't know that. No, I didn't know what. Like, what's important about that? I think what's wow. significant about that is that it it just goes to show just how high up the the level of support and community and protection, even with the police force, almost especially with the police force, is for the LGBT community here. And, um, and I wow. think to, to understand gay culture, to understand the history of things and the history of our struggle is very important. And that's what people miss the boat on all the time. You know, it's like it, even, even certain gay men that I know are not fans of drag queens, but to understand mm-hmm. that the drag queens and, and the trans community throughout history have been trailblazers for so I, I, much progression and so many laws and le- and the lesbians and our, le- our fabulous lesbians. Yeah, and I know people go, oh, there's lesbians that don't like the gays and gays don't like, get over it. Um, everybody needs to get along, <laughs> actually, honestly. I know well, that's the truth. Um, really, having a safe city is a huge deal. Like, growing up in South Africa, I think I talked about that on the last show with you. Um, my friends got beaten up. They, and the police force were part of it. And when Nelson Mandela came in, things changed a little bit of police force. But, um, you know, you had to be careful. And um I I don't think any women came out as lesbian. It was mostly men later. And women, I still don't know. 
And I always think, like, I think you were, but I don't know. Don't want to say anything because you don't know. You don't want to say. And if, if you do that and, and that culture would be a, like, you're accusing me of something. You know what I mean? It's very difficult and timely and weird and it's hard. And I'm a person yeah. who just really be who you are. Like, let's celebrate it. Let's have a good time. And, and it doesn't always work in right. communities. And when you can go to a community where it's safe and the police, like what you just said, that's a huge, huge, huge thing. That's huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that's a big deal. Um, I, re- uh, anyway, I don't need to talk about things and what I've seen on the other side of it, but, um, when I say a good community is a good community, I mean it. <laughs> you know, I've seen the other side and it's horrible. And um I just love that Palm Springs does that and also has hotels for gay men to be who they want to be, you know. And if you aren't in a city that allows that, God damn, get over there, man. Go have some fun and enjoy it. And hopefully your time there will help you stand up a little bit more to your city, you know. That's yeah, what I hope. Yeah. I hope yeah. Palm Springs is like a, a place that other cities will learn and grow from. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so too. You traveled as your as a musician, don't you? Didn't mm-hmm. you feel that as you traveled as a musician to know who, what, and where? Like, did oh, you yeah. have to wonder every place you? toured and sang and you know and you've done so yeah. much i mean god you've you've done so much with so many musicians oh and jason Mraz, he's not that that far from you doesn't he live in fallbrook he does he's not far from you um you've done so much with amazing musicians but good ones who understand right um but in your travels do you think about that do you think, like, am I safe here? Should I, like, is that a part of your travel when you, when you sing or of even course, just travel of course. as a human? Yeah. I mean, you know? as a, well, as a human, as a gay man, especially as a human, as a gay that man, sounds you... terrible, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you, you know, you're never, you're never really sure if you're safe anywhere that you are. I think any, I think any, uh, I'm going to say I think any minority could relate to that. I don't even want to just say gay man. I think any minority can, you know, if you're somewhere where you are the minority, you can relate to never being sure who's your friend and who is not. And so that's that's a really hard thing to deal with. But when you are a part of the majority, and like I said, moving to Palm Springs as a 40-year-old man, it was just like, oh, my God, I... You know, I can take care of myself. I can tour around. I can, you know, travel around and and be okay. But I don't mm. actually have to live in fear here, like I have for the past forty years. And and people traveling need to know this. You know, yeah. as travelers go there. The hotels are amazing. I mean, they really are. I mean, Palm Springs is amazing as a whole. It's just nice to have the big open sky. I miss it big time. And um I really miss it. The big open sky of the Southwest. And um you're not far from Joshua Tree National Park and all that crazy, you know, stuff up on that side. But uh Palm Springs is special as a destination. And I want to say let's get into the entertainment side. We talked about drag a little bit, but you have some concert stuff coming up, and I want to hear all about it. Carpenter <laughs> music? This is yes. cool. Yeah, well, I'm a big Carpenters fan, you know. I, I, I am have... too. Really? <laughs> Who isn't, right? Like, everyone loves the Carpenters. <laughs> Her voice. Are you kidding me, Karen Carpenter? I still can't believe, like, ah. You know, how she was about her body and everything, right? You know, she was just, to me, 
an amazing drummer and one of the best vocalists. Nobody can redo her voice, but tell me about your, your music, what you're going to do. Well, I mean, she, she's just, yeah, I, she's just been a, a really influential voice for me. You know, like when I was a kid, I, I kind of credit her for being one of the key people that taught me how to sing, you know, really just because I was so wow. into their music. And so this is really full circle for me just because I've always wanted to do this. And frankly, I'm surprised that more people don't do this because you're always seeing tributes to like Queen and Elton John and Fleetwood Mac mm-hmm. and all these great bands, but um, Barbie, you rarely see the Stevie Carpenters. Nicks. <laughs> right, oh. right. <laughs> and yet everyone loves the Carpenters. So I figured why not, why not do it here? And it, and so it's been a few months in, in planning and we're going to, we've got, it's going to be a, a duo with Michael Orland. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to sing, I'm going to be Karen for the night. I'm just going to sing all my favorite Karen Carpenter what? songs. I want to go. Like, is it only one night? When, tell me, tell me, tell me. Like, what's. It's what's... just one night. Yeah. It's, no. it's uh, Friday, November 10th. Here November at, at 10th. Oscars. In downtown Palm Springs. Yeah. It's the Only Friday after night. Pride. It's Only just one, one night, night, but I hope to do it again, you know, and I and I hope to do it elsewhere, to be honest. I, I think there has been so much interest that, you know, the VIP tickets are already sold out. I think we're already halfway sold. And I have not even really begun to promote it yet. So people are finding out about it and are just really excited to be a part of it. And I, I, I want, I want, I want, I want, <laughs> I want. See, there's so but, much nostalgia wrapped up in it. So that's what's exciting. But, and think, you're an you know? amazing singer. Like th- th- that's the thing. Oh, you're an amazing singer. I mean, I, I went back in your music and God, and you do Kate Bush and all kinds of, you know, come on. Like, <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, seriously. and you know, my, my own music and my own singing approach is, is pretty different from Karen Carpenter, mm-hmm. but I'm I've been emulating her for my whole life. I want so to hear. I'm I think if any man can do it justice, you know, I think people are surprised when they hear me do it justice. <laughs> I <laughs> so, know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good. I've I'm I mean I've done my research. I know it's going to be badass cool. <laughs> and oh, I'm just jealous that we're not there. We'll be in Tucson. Then, ah, oh, we're gonna even be so close to you guys. Like seriously, that sucks. But um, well, it'll happen someone's again. Someone's gonna and film I'm gonna, it, right? Someone's gonna film it. Yeah, so, I'm gonna film it. Yep. Yeah. And okay, we're just gonna make a an event. At, you know, I even got life size cutouts of Richard and Karen Carpenter, so we're gonna have like a red carpet selfie booth area. For when people come in, you know, pre-show, get oh, a get a wild. selfie with Karen and Richard. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna do. We're we're gonna have a raffle. We've got a bunch of great prizes. That portion of the proceeds are gonna go to the center, which is the LGBT um, organization here that does so much for the community here. Aww. So there's just a lot of community involved in this as well, which is really, again, you know what what it's all about out here. So, yeah. I love it. I I'm love super it. I love excited. It. I just, I, I want to see you perform personally. Like, I, you know, is the Carpenters or not? But um, I just want to see it because you have an amazing voice, and it just, I, yeah, you know, come on, everybody. If you go to, you know, go to Palm Springs, look up Gregory Douglas. Like, how did, like, how often do you perform? Is, is it like a your lucky day or not kind of thing. It is going to be a lucky day. <laughs> it it this is, is your lucky yeah, day. It, it's, it's not as frequent. It's not nearly as frequent as it used to be just because I, I'm, I'm busy with so many things now um, that, and I'm really trying to come back to Dude. music with a different perspective of just like, you uh, know, booking a show I, in I advance. I want to see you when we get there. When we get there, I want to meet you in person for sure. Can we have a cocktail? Can we have one of the gayest cocktails? 
What was the gayest cocktail that you had? <laughs> yeah, you did that story for the boutique weekend. What was the gayest cocktail? Tell, tell oh, everybody what, about that. What was the winner? I think the winner, I don't remember the name of it because it was a beautiful kind of exotic name, but it was a, a signature cocktail at the signature cocktail at the front porch, which is owned by Farm. Um, and it's right in the square downtown Palm Springs. Uh, it's a fairly new cocktail lounge, but they just have the big, beautiful. I don't even want to. I don't even want to spoil it. Just go to go to the front porch and ask for their signature cocktail because it's been award winning and everything. It's just it's delicious. It's fabulous. It's over the top. It's it's great. Well, see you there when we get there. <laughs> okay. When we get to Palm <laughs> Springs, good. if we don't meet you, that would be like a shenane. No, no. We have to meet right? you. We have to have fun. <laughs> and I don't know, but I feel like we have to have like a weird karaoke night with you. Is there a karaoke? Well, any night of the week. Any night really? of the week. I just, I actually just wrote an article for the Palm Springs Preferred Small Hotels. I didn't we need even to get know a shorter this. name for that. What? <laughs> um, yeah. And, and it's karaoke. It's, it's all the best karaoke in the area. Um, and it's just, you literally, there's karaoke somewhere, literally every night of the week. So yeah, do you get up and perform? Do you ever do that? Even though, like, I do once in this... a while. Yeah? No. Yeah, but what, it's you, honestly not my favorite sing? thing to do. I know, but I know all the famous musicians we interview, like, no, no. And then, like, to me, like, one of my worst things is musician, like, not the musicians, but, but do not give the tambourine out. I have a problem right. with the tambourine going out. Yeah. <laughs> I have a big problem with the tambourine going out to people yeah, that are it's not necessary. stupid. <laughs> no, yeah. like don't do it. Don't do it. But um, if you're going to do karaoke, what do you sing? Mm, well... I don't know. It's it's kind of been all over the map. Like some, it depends on what other people are singing, oh. what I'm feeling, whatever. But Ooh. you know, like I I like to do sometimes. I'm, I like to do at last at a James. You know. Ooh. Um, I have done some Carpenters before. I've done some Hall and Oates before, and you know, I like to change it up. Oh, I I want to hear you do at a James though. That's cool. That's a fun I'm a one. Busy person. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. So when we get to Palm Springs, this is the deal. Cocktails and karaoke with you and Kim. Okay? No matter what happens, <laughs> that has to happen. Okay? okay. And apparently yes. we need to go to the weed place too. So I don't know what comes first. But, you know, just saying that could happen. But thanks so much. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us for our Big Blend Radio Second Saturday Sunshine State Show with the Palm Springs Preferred Small Hotels. Visit us at BigBlendRadio.com to keep up with the shows and plan your Palm Springs vacation. Go to AuthenticPalmSprings.com.